Hello and welcome to the Profile Tree YouTube channel. My name is Terence, and in today's video, it's a quick one, but I feel it is an essential part of Google Analytics that you need to know. In today's video, we're going to go through the process of how to give admin access, in fact, any access to a new user. So before we begin, make sure to leave a like on this video and leave a comment if there's something you want us to cover in a future video. And make sure to subscribe so that you're notified the next time we upload a video. So the first thing you want to do is go to analytics.google.com, which will take you to your analytics page. Make sure you are signed in as a current admin user. And what you want to do is scroll down to where it says admin at the bottom left hand corner. In the admin section under account, you want to go to account access management. Click on that and a new window will open. Here you will see a list of users who currently have access to your analytics account and you can see what level of access they have. To add a new user, you simply click on the blue plus at the top right hand corner. Then you click on add users. A new window will open where you can add in an email address. So I'm going to add in my own email address and you'll see it gets selected. Next, you need to select the permissions, which is basically the level of access that this user will have. Edit access allows them to edit the page, which would essentially mean that they're an admin of the page. So this is how you give someone admin access. And you can see it automatically ticks the rest of the boxes. If you want to give them extra access to manage users, this is to add or remove users, you would tick this box. In this case, I'm going to leave it blank, but you can simply just tick it if you want to. Collaborate access means someone can create and edit shared assets like dashboards and annotations. And then you have read and analyze access, which means someone can view reports and configuration data. Then you simply click add at the top of the page and they've been added to the list and they'll be notified in the email that they now have access. If you would like to remove a user, you can simply tick next to their name and at the top right, you click remove. Then you'll be prompted with this window to make sure that you've selected the correct account that you want to remove and then you can click remove and this person has now been removed. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like below or leave a comment if there's something you want us to cover in a future video. Make sure to subscribe so that you are notified next time we upload a video. Until the next video, thank you for watching. Goodbye.